Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now we have Open Canvas, a free and open source alternative to ChatGPT Canvas, and it provides features similar to ChatGPT Canvas, and it's totally free. And today in this video, we will see how we can utilize its coding feature and also how we can use it uh, locally. In the first week of October, OpenAI introduced this uh, Canvas, which was uh, basically a new interface to work with GPT-40, and it provides many features like coding, adding logs, and different kind of things. Now Langchain AI has uh, developed this open canvas and uh, it's open source and also it says it is inspired by the open AI canvas but uh, with few key differences. Now let's see how we can utilize it for coding purpose. So we'll say write a to-do app in React and here you can see it uh, created a UI interface which is very similar to a uh, JARGPT canvas. And we can uh, write messages here uh, for more things that we want to do into this app and if we click here on this tool then it says we can add comments uh, add logs and add uh, different kind of languages so if i will see add comment uh, then it will go and it will add comment like okay now it says a defined to do's component or uh, state to hold and now it's explaining the code like it added a comment and next if i will say add logs then uh, it will go and it will add logs as well so now you can see it added the console logs here along with the comments so these are the features it's providing and it's similar to the chat gpt canvas and if we say a uh, different kind of uh, language if i will say write it in python then uh, it will convert this code and like it will give a python code for to do application so now you can see this whole code is in python and one of the important feature is like uh, it can go back to the previous version like if I'll go back here then uh, it is in a react and if I go to back to the first version we don't have a comment here if we go next we have comment but we don't have logs but this was the version with logs and comment and this is the python version so these are the different kind of features it provides next we can also select the piece of code and ask uh, open canvas okay uh, what is uh, this piece of code and now uh, it will explain us okay we can also copy this code from here and uh, next thing is that we can add our own custom prompt like if we click here and uh, we can add a new custom prompt like suppose we say spelling errors and we'll have to give some instruction okay like uh, use nice naming convention and have a spelling errors check and we can have these uh, include prefix and prompt or in reflection in prompt and this thing and we can save it and uh, here when we will click on this then it will run this prompt so here now you can see that uh, this is the rewritten code it gave based on our uh, new custom prompt so yeah, now we can see that it provides uh, lots of features which are very similar to ChatGPT Canvas and its web version is totally free. Now to use this uh, open canvas locally, uh, you'll have to go to this GitHub repository and uh, you'll have to go to the instruction. Uh, it says that running or developing open canvas is easy. We just need to uh, clone it and we'll have to install the dependency. And there are some more instruction uh, related to we'll have to put the env file and we'll have to put our Langchain API keys. And after that, we'll be able to use it uh, locally, just like uh, we are able to use it in the installed web version. So this OpenAI Canvas is a good alternative to ChatGPT Canvas and it's totally free. So we can use it and we can also use it locally. So this is it for this video and uh, do put down your thoughts and comments related to Open Canvas and ChatGPT Canvas the features you like or if you're using it or uh, the new feature that you would like to have in this app and uh, see you soon in the next video.